Hello, fans, and welcome to tonight's game between the Tulane Green Wave and the Houston Cougars. Number three is the returning senior looking to get the most out of his teammates as he leads by example. Hey, Brad, true senior leadership is a rarity these days. But when a team has it, it makes a big difference out on the court. The Cougars will certainly want to take advantage of his presence on the floor. The Cougars, by all accounts, should have an easy time of it tonight, Dick Vitale. How do they ensure that victory, though? They should listen to me and follow the simple keys, baby. First of all, the point guard has to be the leader out there. He's got to be the coach on the floor. Second, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. Lastly, be aggressive defensively. Don't give them any open looks. All right, there you have it. Let's get to the action see what's in store for us. He gets it to fall. Both teams looking to get things going here. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. The point guard with the ball. Sets a screen for his teammate. Knocks it down. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. Moving it around the perimeter. The shooting guard gets the pass. He buries it. Let's see if the replay does that any justice. He keeps the dribble as they reset. The ball handler might be in trouble here. He tries the three. Sinks it. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. The power forward gets the ball. From right at the circle. Sinks the shot. Harris is feeling great right now. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. The shooting guard takes the pass. He takes the shot off the baseline. Tulane are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Takes the pass in the paint. Here's a double team. And the ball goes out of play. Fed the low block. The power forward takes the feed. Great play to take that to the basket. They work it around the perimeter. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Inside. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Length of the floor. Tries for two. They are heating up this building with their shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Shooter spotting up on a three. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Number they scored eight in a row. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. Gave it up. The silence is almost unbearable, Dick. The crowd has had very little to cheer about.
It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most affected, Brad. The crowd loves this young man. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Drains the shot. They scored 12 in a row. He shoots from the top of the key. Scorches the net. Number 45 with the fake. The fake with a little baby hook. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially Number against 45. a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. I want to thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. On the inside, he goes with a jump hook. I'll tell you, great shot. Number I don't understand 45. why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. On the dribble, gives it up. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Very poor positioning on the double team there, Dick. These kids know better. We'll see if they get it right next time down. See if they can get a good shot this trip. Wide open for the shot. He shoots from the top of the key. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. Both teams are looking to get something going here. Trying to pack it inside. He launches the bomb. The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. A frustration right there. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He unloads a three. Gets it to fall. Here's another look, Dick. Gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Fakes the jumper. Oh, that's good defense. A steal on the inside. Oh, what a way to force the turnover. Great anticipation by the post player. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. There's a double team waiting there. That's a great shot. I, I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Inside. Definitely a foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. He'll regroup the offense. And one too many dribbles and a steal. You gotta be careful when you go for those steals, Brad. They scored seven in a row. Shows patience, waiting for the reset. They go inside, and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. 
Ate, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Gave it up. Turns it over. Nice fake. Here's a nice face up down on the low block. Oh, he did a great job face up and then just attacked the ball. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Great play to take that to the basket. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover. Day. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. off the pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. There's the pick. There's the roll. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. On the dribble. Gives it up. Look at that great defense right there. Not allow him to make the turn. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. There's the screen up on top. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. There he is, strips the ball loose. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. First half update again, Dick Vitale, in your opinion, our focus player, what do you think he's doing so far? Well, I think he's playing well, but unfortunately his teammates are not helping. I mean, he can't win if just one guy's going to make plays. Great anticipation defensively. Pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. Stolen away. Defense got it after knocking it loose. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. On the inside. Here they come with a double team to stop it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Okay, Dick, some people were predicting this. The players are starting to taunt one another. The green way can't get things going right here. Emotionally, they look like they're spent. Right, they are in a low right now. They must turn things around or they're going to get blown out. Number 45. Working it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Buried it.
Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you've got a chance to do well. A lot of guys are reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He shoots from the top of the key. Hey, he kept his dribble. Screen was there, but he couldn't get the shot to drop. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. Gave it up. He looks at the hoop. Good fake. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Can't get the shot to go. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. come up with a steal. They get out on the break. Stolen away. Neither team is willing to slow things down. Man, what action. These two teams mean business. Up and down, back and forth. Number 45. He looks for the bomb. He's good for another score. Hands in his face. Any time now, boys? <laughs> Looking for a good shot. Oh, what a strip, Rad. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. He fakes the shot, takes the shot, he hits it. <laughs> Gave it up. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. There should be an easy bucket here, Mr. Nestler. For the bucket, he makes the shot. Fakes it. Almost lost a basketball. He shoots from left of the circle. He gets the bucket. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. They work it around the perimeter. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Time to pick up the defense here now. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I thought he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Not, get, not getting enough motion on offense. In here on transition, Brad. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Arm and foul. 
Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He intercepts it. Goes up for two. Dick, they're ripping up the nets tonight. Hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. This place will be in complete chaos if this defense can get a stop right here. Jumps in. He buries the shot. Oh, oh, four, four, two. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Picked off. If they can get a basket here, Dick, this crowd will erupt. He faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you've got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Steals the pass. <laughs> foul charge. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. They're working around the perimeter. Gonna take some pride on the defensive end. Houston have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up, though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. Dick, about a medium-sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing. You don't get a big edge as a home team. He shoots from the top of the circle. That was nice. Side. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. And off the mark. He gets the bucket to fall. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's a double team. Will take the shot. Tickles the twine. <laughs> On the inside. Tries to get the D to bite. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Intercepted. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. There's the fake. Nice steal there, but the offense gets the ball back. Nice shot. Trying to beat the buzzer. He misses from way outside. Time, the Green Wave are behind by three. So let's take a look back and watch the play of the half. Houston is showing some deadly accuracy from the field in the first half. Hey, for sure, Brad, this kind of accuracy can easily be carried over to the second half if they continue to be patient with the rock. Patience and poise usually equals points. Dick, as a coach, heading into the second half, focus player update, and uh, you know what it takes. What is it going to take for this young man? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side.
Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. On the outside. Another turnover. And we're not talking out the turnovers either. Looking for the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Gave it up. He makes the block. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Jumped in front to take it away. On the dribble, gives it up. Leans in. He gets it to go. Counts getting high. He tries to knock down the three. Way off target. Turn around jumper. Dick, you think they're going to stay this hot? Hey, it doesn't look like they're slowing down, my friend. In the paint. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Picked out of the air. Tries for two. Houston are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. Oh, yes, the student body. Always full of comedy and excitement. Moving it around the perimeter. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. There's a double team waiting there. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Takes the pass in the paint. Puts it up looking for contact. Number 45. The Cougars have a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Shots there if he wants it. He strokes it. He drains it. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Well, there's the turnover situation. I guess most notable, the number of points off turnover. Well, Mr. Nestler, that's why you want to take care of the basketball. You want to protect it. Turnovers will result in points being scored at the other end. That's one statistic which coaches always monitor. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. For two, perfectly executed.
He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Look at that spacing. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Takes away the pass. And the slam. Working it around the perimeter. And the ball goes out of bounds. Boy, assist to turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. And again, they look to run. For the bucket. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Picks off the lazy pass. The senior leader drops it in for the score and gets the foul. He's playing the way they taught him how to play, baby. Check that out. He's pumping up the crowd. He wants him to turn it up a notch. He says, show me some love. I'm working my tail off here. The Cougars are going to be at the line for the first time in this game. He makes it. the circle drains it with the fake from the top of the circle it sticks Vicky really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining possession because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. They work it around the perimeter. On the inside, he hit the deuce, and the foul is called. Nice job of absorbing the foul and keeping his focus. How important is it to get to the free throw line? Well, you know, in those bonus points, Brad, you get those simple points. They add up at the end. Plus, you get people into foul trouble. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. Now they work it around the perimeter. Fake. Dump it inside. Top of the circle. He hits the shot. Hey, he should know by now you don't leave your guy open. Not a very smart move. Number 45. The student body is rocking tonight. Isn't it great, Brad? I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They get that rejected. On the outside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Strips the ball. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. <laughs> On 
on the dribble, gives it up. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. Wow, the energy is unbelievable in here. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Goes for the deep one. Goes in. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Way off target. Pass down low. There's a drop step. And oh, good defense. I thought defense reacted and beat him to the spot. Very poor job with the drop step. Very slow. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to drop. He puts it in with contact and all. The Cougars have quite a few seniors in their lineup, which definitely is to their benefit. It is, Brad. Seniors may be the only reason why coaches sleep at night. They really make bad decisions, and you can trust them on the court. shot he puts up the tray he kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot Brad and a momentary look from three-point land push that basketball for two doesn't go the bucket they still don't score looking for a good shot he gets the rejection and the ball goes out of play Defense did a great job with that block shot. Step out on that screener. Now the other way. Tries for two. Houston are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Control of the ball. Get that sucker out of the game, man. A whistle and a foul. Coach not happy in the silence. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Gets his second. That was a definite blow to one team's composure. Let's see how or if this will affect the team. In the paint. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. And so's the defense, and they do a nice job. Jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. Well, let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. 
Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. Thanks, Aaron. The Cougars lead by 14. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. They'll work it around the arc. Went away from the post and goes the other way. Pump fakes. They move it into the front court. He attempts the three. Off the rim and no good. They work the perimeter. On the inside, looking for contact. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. He fires from long range. He hits the tough shot. I'll tell you, he's not going down with ease, Brad. It's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. High post flashes for the ball handler. Feed the low post, tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Tries a three. He's money with the shot. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Let's take a second look. They work it around the perimeter. Looks at a three. He might be on his way to a career game, partner. Well, he will, Brad, if they don't get somebody on him in a hurry. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. The students are all fired up and ready to do whatever is necessary to help their team win. They look like they're having a blast. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Way off target. spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even more important to have talented guards like they have yeah that helps from left of the circle off the rim and no good nothing but joy and delight in the stands right now these fans realize that this game is out of reach Dick. well it's simple they came out executed a game plan and ended up on top Whoa, not a good decision to take that shot. Well, I can guarantee you that he's not the guy. They want shooting the ball. Nice move with a face-up. I tell you one thing, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Coming inside. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Basic. Trying to draw the foul. And he scores despite the hack. The shooting guard handles the pass. The Cougars have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Freddy's on fire. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Eric, 
He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. They're rocking right now. My goodness. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Double team now, bad angle. Gets it back out. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the outside. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. From the top of the key. He made good use of the screen, but the shot fell off. He shoots from the angle. That's good. Tell me to save the play of the night, Brad. Establish some good tempo. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. <laughs> Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Entry pass in the paint. Trying to draw some contact. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Makes the move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dick. He's out of control, baby, out of control. <laughs> Shot clock is dead. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Cross court. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Take it away. Just puts it up there. Can't get it to go. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. Houston simply blew this team away tonight. The outcome was never in doubt. It was always a question of how dominant they would be. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.